Hey church, I want to talk to you briefly about what it takes to be a Kingdom Builder partner. We began Kingdom Builders in 2017 when we as a church began to think outside the box on what God can really do with the generosity of His people. Since then, we have supported missionaries, mission projects, local community ministry projects, investing into our next generation of young believers, and so much more. So let me talk to you a little bit what goes into making a Kingdom Builders Faith Pledge. A faith pledge is the amount of money God lays on your heart to give extra outside the general financial support to the church, which we call the tithe. If you're anything like me, I want to be able to live for something bigger than myself. And we found that Kingdom Builders attaches your desire for that and puts it into action. See, here at River of Life, we encourage everyone to be a people that plan, vision, and dream. Okay, so it starts with this. You have to have a plan. And when you think about it, about what you can give, you might say, I can plan to give this or I can plan to do that. What does that really mean? Well, it means that you can give in your own strength to God what God is giving you the ability to give and earn your living, raising money, etc., I would take some of those resources, those financial things, plan to give a certain amount and give that to kingdom builders. And I would say this, have a plan to work the plan. Uh, When we read the Bible, we can see in Psalms chapter 20, verse four, it says, may he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. The Bible also talks about the plans of the righteous are just. You see, I believe that God likes it when we plan. So let's start there. It's a great place. Maybe say, I can give an extra $20 a month or $50 a month or $100 a month. It's different for everybody, but you're adding it to your life. Almost kind of like a payment, but don't see it as a payment. See it as a plan to be generous, but don't see it as a payment. But it doesn't stop there. There's another level, and that's called vision. Vision says, I want to write this down. I want to write down the vision and I want to see what God can do beyond my gifts, beyond what I have in my hands. So let's say you start with $50 a month and you say, that's my plan. I can do it, but my vision would be to give $150 or $200 or $300 a month. Understand that what you're saying is beyond what I can do in my regular budget, but it's a vision that I have and I'm going to write that down and that's going to be my commitment. My true focus for the year, I'm going to have a vision to give this amount and you start praying about that vision and you watch how God supplies. Remember, you're working the plan. We give $50 a month or whatever it is. And I'm not trying to set an amount for you, but you get the point here, whether it's $10, 50, a hundred, then you have a vision and you write that down, put it somewhere where you can see it, maybe in your journal, maybe in a mirror in your bathroom, maybe in your Bible. And what you're saying is I want to look at this vision and I want to pray for that vision. One vision I have is to pay off the mortgages of other churches and other locations that are equipping people for ministry. You see, I'm saying, God, I I want to do more with my resources than just buy things for me. I want to do more for your glory. See, you and I, we've been blessed to be a blessing, and I have a vision beyond what I can do. That means you're going to be praying about it, and that means you're going to grow in that area of faith. And you're going to say, God, I have faith that you'll provide for me in ways that I can never think of. And the last one is a dream. I have a dream amount that I'm not going to tell you because I believe God wants us to hold on to the dream. Like, you know, have something bigger than vision. Like, what if God did something beyond my wildest dreams? And I can write that check for that one amount that I've been dreaming about. Or give that amount online or do whatever. Bigger than myself. See, I have a dream level. That's way beyond me, way beyond it being possible for me, but possible for God. And I think that if I live the plan, pray the vision, and then go to the dream, God's going to look down someday and give me the ability to accomplish that dream. And I'll look back saying, that had to be God. See, after that dream is accomplished and fulfilled, we're going to set a new one, set a new plan, set a new vision, set a new dream, and see what God can do. I really believe this, that we've been blessed to be a blessing. It's not about us. It's about his glory. It's about reaching people with the message of Jesus Christ. And that's why I'm so excited about Kingdom Builders. I'm so excited that you are considering being a Kingdom Builder partner. You're saying, I want to learn. I want to do more. So let me encourage you. 
have a plan, work the plan, have a vision, write it down and pray about it, and then have a dream. Hold on to it. And I pray that your dreams all come true.